Hi guys, you're welcome to the Zama's Teachings. My name is Amaka. If you're here to subscribe to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and subscribe. And also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload new videos, you'll be notified. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to we're going to be learning how to make a tube top, a strapless tube top. So let's get started. Now I've drawn some lines already. Now this is my starting point, which is also going to serve as my shoulder line. Now this is my sh my shoulder measurement. Half of my shoulder measurement is seven inches. So what I have here is seven point five inches. That is plus half inch seam allowance. Now from this point, I came down here by one inch. I came down by one inch for my shoulder slant, which I which I connected to the neckline. Now this is my neckline. I have three. In now the neck width is three inches and the and the neck depth is, is three inches. Now this is my armhole curve. This is my chest point. This is my bust point. This is my under bust point. This is my waist point, and this is my seam allowance. Now I'm going to impute my darts. Now for me to do that, I'll need my bust span measurement. Now my bust span measurement is eight inches. Eight divided by two gives you four inches plus half inch, which I'm going to use to join it because I'm going to cut it, gives you gives you 4.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 4.5 inches here. And here. And I'll connect it. Now let me label these lines. This is my chest point. This is my bust point. This is my under bust point. This is my waist point. And this is my seam allowance. I'm going to find the midpoint of this line. I'll find the midpoint of this line. So this is the midpoint of this line. And I'm going to connect this point to this point. So the next thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to impute my dart. Now, my dart, I'm going to be using two inches for my dart. I'll be using two inches for my dart. Now, I'm going to distribute. This is how I'll distribute my two inches. Now, on the waist point, I'm going to mark 1.5 inches here and half inch here. 1.5 inches and half inch. I'll do the same thing on the seam allowance. 1.5 and half inch. Now, on the on the under bust point, I'm going to do the same thing. I'll use the same measurement, 1.5 and half inch. Now, on the bust point, on the bust point, I'm going to go up by half inch and mark. And I'll come down on this bust point. I'll come down by half inch. Okay. So I'm going to connect these points together. So I'll connect this one with a straight line. And I'll connect this. I'm going to use my curved ruler. Now here, this is how I'll do it. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to connect this point to this point. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to now I'm going to find the radius, my bust radius. Now for me to find my bust radius, I'm going to find the distance between between the bust point and the under bust point. Now, the distance between my bust point and my under bust point is 3.5 inches. Now, I'm going to rotate that 3.5 inches just like this. So, 
So this is my bust radius. Because I don't want mine, I'll come up by one inch. Now, you can either come up by one inch if you want your bust to cover more than this. You can go up by either half inch or one inch, depending on how you want, you know, you want your bust to cover. So I'm going to go up. I'm going to go up by one inch. I'm going to go up by one inch. But if you want to, if So now if you want if you want to use this line all you need to do is just to curve this connect this to your chest point you see you just do something like this and connect it to your chest point but if you want to go upward just like this you can still you just connect it still connect it to your chest point you see just like this Now, after that, you connect this one. Now, if you want to use this, if you want, if you want your, if you want, if you want your to be sweetheart neckline, all you need to do is to come down, you know, and curve your, and you curve it to this point. But if you don't want it to be sweetheart neckline, you can still curve it this way, whichever way you want, whichever way you want the front to be. If you want it to be straight to cover, you want it to go low. Now, I'm going to, from here, I'll go up by... I'll go up by 1.5 inches because I don't want it to be too low. So I'm going to connect this point to this point. So this now this is the one I'll be using. But you can also decide to use this. You can decide to use this and curve it to this point. It all depends on it all depends on what you want. But I'm using this. This is how I want mine to be. The next thing I'm going to do now I'm going to impute my dart. Now I'm going to impute my dart. Now the two inches because I removed two inches from here. I'm using two inches for my dart. I'm also going to use two inches here. So I'm going to mark one inch on this point and one inch here. So I'll connect this point to this point and this point to this point. So I'm going to blend this so that I don't have any sharp edges. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take my horizontal measurement. Now I'm going to start with the waist. My waist circumference is 32 inches. 32 divided by 4 gives you 8 inches. That gives you 8 inches. Plus these 2 inches. Now these 2 inches I'm going to cut off from here. I'll be returning it here. If you don't return it here, you're going to have shortage. So I'm going to... Now, 8 plus 2 gives you 10 inches, plus the 1 inch, which I'm going to use to join it together, I'm going to sew it together, gives you, nine, gives you 11 inches. Gives you 11 inches. Eleven inches. I'm going to mark the same thing here. Eleven inches. Now, 
on the on the bus point my on the bus circumference is 30 inches 30 divided by 4 gives you 7.5 inches so this is 7.5 inches plus these two inches that which i'm going to cut off gives you 9.5 inches plus one inch which i'm going to use to join it together gives you 10.5 inches Ten point five inches. So now the next thing I'm going to do is to take my now I'm going to take my bus measurement. I'm going to take my bus measurement on my check point. Now my bus circumference is thirty eight inches. Thirty eight divided by four gives you nine point five inches. Plus these two inches, which I'm going to cut off here, these two inches for my for that, which I'm going to cut off, gives you eleven point five inches. Plus one inch, which I'm going to one inch, which I'm going to use to join it together, gives you gives you 12.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 12.5 inches here. I'm going to connect this point to this point. I'm going to connect this point to this point and this point to this point. Now I'm going to add my seam allowance. I usually add my seam allowance on my pattern paper. So once I place it on my fabric, I'll just cut it. It makes my work easy. But it's optional. You can decide to add on your fabric and not on your pattern paper. But I'm adding mine on my pattern paper. So I'm working with 1.5 inches seam allowance. So I'll connect it. Now I'm through with the front. I'm going to cut it. So this is the front. This is the front. So I'm going to keep it aside and work on the back. So this is my back panel. Now, here I have, now this is my shoulder line and I came, I came down by one inch for my shoulder slant. I have three inches neck width here and one inch neck depth. And this is my armhole curve. This is my chest point. This is my waist point and this is my seam allowance. So the next thing I'm going to do now, now this is my zipper allowance. This is my zipper. So now every measurement I'm taking, I'm going to take it from like from here. I'll take it from this line away from the zipper allowance. So now the first thing I'm going to do is to impute my, I'm going to impute my dart line. Now for me to do that, I'll be working with my nipple to nip my bust. For me to do that, I'll be working with my bust pan measurement. And my bust pan measurement is eight inches. Eight divided by two gives you four inches plus half inch, which I'm going to use to join it because I'm going to cut this open. That gives you four point five inches. So I'm going to mark four point five inches here. And here and I'll connect it now after that after that I'm going to mark now I'm here for the back I'm taking away one inch for my dart so I'm going to mark half inch in between in between this line now I'm going to mark half inch here and half inch here. I'll do the same thing on the seam allowance, half inch here and half inch here. Now, from the chest point, I'm going to come down by one inch. I'll come down by one inch. And I'll connect this point to this point, this point to this point.
Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to eliminate the zipper board. Now, from here, from this zipper allowance, I'm going to I'm going to come in by three quarter inch. You can use half inch, you can use one inch, but I'm using three quarter inch. So I'm going to mark three quarter inch here. And I'll connect this point to I'm going to connect it this way. Now, this is no longer useful to me. So I'm going to create a new zipper allowance. Now, from this line, I'm going to mark three quarter inch. And I'll connect this point to this point. So now I have a new zipper allowance. I have a new zipper allowance. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take my horizontal measurement. I'm going to take my horizontal measurement. Now my waist circumference is my waist circumference is 32 inches. 32 divided by two for by four gives you eight inches. Eight inches for this one inch seam for this one inch for that, which I'm going to cut off, I'm going to return it here. So for this one inch for that gives you nine inches plus one inch, which I'm going to use to join this together because I told you that I'm going to cut it open, gives you 10 inches. So I'm going to mark 10 inches here from this line. Now see, from this line, I'm going to mark 10 inches. Now on the on the chest point, I'm going to take my bust circumference on the chest point. My bust circumference is 38 inches. 38 divided by 4 gives you 9.5 inches. Plus 1 inch, which I'm going to use to join these two together, gives you 10.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 10.5 inches here. And I'll connect it. So the next thing I'll do is to add my seam allowance. My seam allowance is, I'm using 1.5 inches seam allowance. So I'll connect it. Now for the back, you can decide to, you can decide to come down by one inch and curve your back. You know, curve your back, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to maintain this line. So I'm going to cut it. So I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut off the dart. So this is the back. This is the back. And this is the front. This is the front. Now take note. While cutting, I'm going to cut this unfold. I'll cut this one of these unfold. This I'm going to cut two of these. This I'm going to cut two of these and two of these. This is going to be unfold. Two of these, two of these, and two of these. So I'll cut it and show you. Now this is it. I have my lining. Now I have my lining and the main fabric here. Now, while I was, I was drafting, I forgot to add seam allowance on the side. I forgot to add seam allowance, so I added the seam allowance on the fabric. I added on the fabric. So while you're drafting, you can either add on your, on your paper or you add on the fabric. It's up to you. So now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, how I'm going to join these, how I'm going to join them together. So now this is what I'm going to do. Now this is the lining.
So this is how I'm going to join it. Now I told you that I'm going to call this unfold. So this is single and unfold. So this one, I have to cut two of this and two of this. So I'm going to join this together. Now I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it. I'm going to sew it this way. I'll sew it this way. I'm going to place the two together and I'll sew it. I'll sew it this way and sew it. Sew it and sew it and I'll turn it. So that's how I'm going to join this. Now for the back, this is the front. For the back, now this one is the side and this is the side. While this is the zipper. So this is how I'm going to join it. So I'm going to join it together. I'm going to place it this way and I'll sew. I'll place this and I'll sew. I'll place it and I'll sew. Now after sewing, Okay, let me join it. Let me sew it and show you. So I've joined it, you see? And after joining it, I notched. After notching, I ironed it. I used my tailor's ham to iron it, to iron this one and the lining. You see, the same way I joined it, I joined the lining. The same thing. I've, and I also I also ironed interfacing on it. I'm, I'm going to join these two together, right side facing right side, and I'll sew. I'm going to sew. After sewing, I'll sew it this way. After sewing, I'll notch. After notching, I'm going to put the seam allowance on the lining and top stitch. Then on the on this one, on the back panel, I'm going to place it right side facing right side, and I'll sew. After sewing, I'll notch. After notching, I'll push the line the seam allowance on the lining and top stitch. I'll do the same thing on this one as well. Then after that, okay, let me do, do it and show you how to join it. Now this is it. After sewing it, now this is it. I pushed the I pushed the seam allowance on the lining and top stitched and I ironed it. Now this is it. I've ironed it. The same thing I did here. The same thing I did here. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to join it. Now this is how to join it. So I'm going to bring now I'm going to bring these two together. I'm going to hold it this way and I'll sew. I'm going to sew it from here and I'll sew it down. And I'll do the same thing here. I'll bring this. I'll bring this and place these two together. Main fabric with main fabric. And I'm going to join it main fabric with main fabric and lining with to lining. And I'll sew. I'm going to sew it this way. Okay, let me illustrate with pin. Let me just tell you everything I'll do. Then I'll go ahead and join it and show you the outcome. So now this is it. I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it this way with the seam allowance I have. So this is it. Now I'm going to sew it this way. And when I sew it, I'll turn it this way. Now you see, when I turn it, this is how, this is what I'm going to have. Now this is the wrong side. This is how the wrong side will be. And this is the right side. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to do the same thing on this one. Then after which, after that, I'm going to turn this. I'm going to turn this and I'll sew. I'm going to sew this with, I'm going to sew this with half inch seam allowance. I'll sew this with half inch seam allowance and I'll turn it. I'll turn it. So I'll do it and show you the outcome. And the same way I'm going to sew here, that's how I'm going to sew this other part. Now this is it. This is my tube. You see, this is the right side and this is the wrong side. You see how neat it is? You're not seeing the, the seam allowance. Everything is inside. You see, this is the right side. This is the right side. You see? So now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to, now, if you're, if you're attaching something on your tube, there'll be no need. Okay. Now let me show you how I'm going to, now I'm going to, now, this is what I'm going to do. You see that I, I've stitched here with, I've sewn here with half inch seam allowance. So I'm going to sew here. I'm going to hold here and sew here with half inch seam allowance. What I have here is half inch seam allowance. I'm going to sew it. 
I'll sew it to this point. I'll sew it, and when I get here, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave some allowance here, which I'm going to use to turn it inside out. I'm going to use it to turn it inside out. Now, when I turn it, when I turn it, when I turn it, I'm going to hold that place that I did not sew. I'm going to hold it and sew it neatly. I'm going to fold it, fold it in, and sew it neatly. So that's how I'm going to do this. But if you want to attach something to your tube like a peplum or you're making a dress you're making a gown or jumpsuit whatever you want to do with your your tube if you still need to add something here there'll be no need folding it in the way i'm going to do mine all you need to do is just to you have half inch seam allowance here already you use it to join the lower part that's what you will do so that's just it with this tutorial now after that i'm going to attach the zipper and i'll wear it on my mannequin and show you the outcome of it so this is the back you see how the back is when i attach the zipper this is what i'm going to have so that's just it this is the back and this is the front and this is the wrong side and this is the right side now if you found this tutorial helpful please click on the like button when you when you like this video youtube algorithm is going to show this video to more people and subscribe to my, also subscribe to my channel to support me. Subscri subscription is free. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Lizama Stitches. We've come to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.